right, hi guys. We're gonna do a 30 minute HIIT workout today. It's gonna be low impact, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So each circuit is gonna have five exercises. I'm gonna show all five of them before we begin. So the first round, exercise number one, we're going to start with speed skaters. So it'll look something like this. After we do speed skaters, we're gonna do mountain climbers. So you're gonna come into a plank position and your mountain climber will look something like this. Third exercise, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with knee raise and a rotation. So the arms are gonna go up in your lunge and then you're gonna take it over to the side with the knee raise. So that's number three. Number four, we're gonna do that on the other side. After number four, number five, we're gonna do a side step touchdown. So it's gonna be more like a deadlift where you hinge at the hips and then come up. Step to the other side, hinge at the hips, come up. So those are our four, five exercises. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Are we ready? So we have speed skaters first, 45 seconds. Go ahead and listen for the buzzer. It'll count down three, two, one. So when you know to begin and when we're gonna stop. <laughs> to modify, it can look something like this. It could also look something like this, depending on what you're feeling today. It can be faster, it can be slower. Just try to keep moving. <laughs> Go ahead and break. Grab some water, we have 15 seconds until mountain climbers. <laughs> to modify, you could also tap the knee down, put it back, tap the knee down, put it back. You could also tap one toe, put it back, other toe, put it back. You could take it to the side. So lots of variations here. We have our lunges next, so we'll do one side, then the other, so round three and four. <laughs> to modify this, the back leg can stay straight, so it's a little less for that knee back there. on the other side.
side break. We have a side stop, step and touch down neck. So remember, hinging at the hips more like a good morning or a deadlift. another round of speed skaters, mountain climbers, reverse lunge, and side steps with touchdowns. So speed skaters are first. You guys know your variations. We'll do it for 45 with that 15 second break. So remember, you don't have to do the same thing you did last time. It can be a little bit different. You can always touch the ground. You can always pick up the pace. You can also make it very gentle, tap the toes. So take it at your pace. You could also bring a knee up, engage the core a little bit. So you can really kind of make this your own, some kind of side skating exercise. mountain climbers. So it can be slow, it can be fast, it can be with a twist. If you want, you could also tap a foot up. So I'll show that variation first. So flat foot, bring it back, switch sides, bring it back. So getting into the external obliques a little bit. Same thing as if you twist, getting into the obliques a little bit more. If you want to take it faster, do a traditional mountain climber. Remember, you can tap with the knee too. Bring it back to plank. Knee down, bring it back to plank. Make sure you breathe here. Definitely don't want to hold your breath. Go ahead and break. We have the reverse lunge, knee raise with twist. So pick whatever side you want. One side for 45, second side for 45. If you wanna make this harder, add a little jump. Remember to make it easier. Back leg can stay a little straighter. So less pressure on that back knee. Make sure the core is activated. It's gonna help you stay balanced. Take a break. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You have the same exact options. Same exact exercise. Water if you need it. Make sure the spine staying really tall here. So we're not hunching, we're not arching, just a nice neutral spine. If you're feeling crazy, add the hop. Arms are up in the lunge. Try and keep your shoulders down. Nice relaxed shoulders. Go 
at a break. We have the side step touchdown next. So remember, hinging at the hips. So think deadlift, think good morning. Step up, bring the arms up. Hinge at the hips, step up. So try and make it one smooth movement. Hinge at the hips, bring it back up. If you have any kind of weights or water bottles, you can add them in. Really for any exercise we're doing here, don't need anything at all. But if you want to make it harder, go for it. Go ahead and break. All right, so round two, we have five new exercises. We're going to start with shuffle ups. So you're going to be in a little baby squat with a small bend in the knees, and you're going to shuffle two to three times, and then take it up. Take it up. After that, we have plank toe taps. So you're going to come into your plank. One foot taps out to the side. Bring it back. Switch. Bring it back. Third exercise, burpees. So these can be slow or fast. There's going to be a lot of different versions, which I will go through once we start. But for basics, we're going to plant the hands, step back, push up, step forward, bring it up. So I'll explain the other versions, which will add the jump and stuff like that to make it harder or knees down to make it easier for the push up. After that, we have in and out squats. So you're going to step, squat, bring it back together, do another squat, other side squat, bring it back together. So you can make this fast or slow. And then inchworm to upward dog. So you're gonna start standing, you're gonna inchworm out, bring it back, stand up. And I'll explain the up dog if you want to make it harder once we start it. So first one is gonna be that shuffle up, 45 seconds on, 15 off, Listen for the beeper. break 15 seconds grab water plank toe taps are next to modify the knees could be down still tap out bring it back to make it harder It'll be a plank jack, so both out, come together. This can be very fast or very slow. break. We have burpees. You could add a jump at the top if you want to. You could take out the push-up if you want to. You could jump back. Do a push up, jump forward, and jump at the top. So, kind of make this your own. I'm 
I'm kind of changing it up every time as I go. All right, round three is done. We have in and out squats next. So you're stepping out, bring it in, other side, bring it in. If you want to make this more cardio-like, you could do something like this. I'm going to stick with this one. <laughs> inchworm to up dog. If you want to add the up dog, I will also show another modification keeping the knees bent. I'll do the middle one first. So you're walking it out, plank, walking it back. Stand up. If you want, take it out to plank, drop the hips for upward facing dog, back to plank, and then back to stand. If you want, knees could bend, you could walk out about halfway, and then bring it back. Right, go ahead and break. All right, we're gonna repeat that same round. We're gonna start with the shuffle ups again. So remember, you can take it fast, you can take it slow, you can add in that jump, you can add in a weight, whatever you want. 45 on, 15 off. You can take it two across, Take it three, maybe even four. I'm doing just two right now because of space, but do what you want. Just try and keep moving. And break. We have plank toe taps. So come to your hands and knees, find your plank, tap it out, bring it back, tap it out, bring it back. Remember, this can be modified. So you can be more in a tabletop, you can also be in more of a kneeling lunge. Tap the foot out, still bring it back. Remember, you also have the plank jack, out and in. This can be very slow, this can be pretty fast. Go ahead and break. We have burpees next, so remember, you have a ton of versions of this. Take it as you want. Last time I changed it almost every single rep. Sometimes push up, sometimes no push up. You can add that pop at the top. You can hop back. You can drop the knees. Even if you're modifying the push-up, 
and do a stepping back, you can still add the jump at the top. in and out squats. So we're stepping out and then in. Just alternate between the sides. Squat, bring it together. Other side, bring it together. Modify by going slow or fast. You can go a little deeper if you want. We can make it a gentle squat. You also have that jump version. You could bring it around. It should get your heart rate up a lot. Remember, this is your workout. Go ahead and break. We have inchworms next, so remember you can add the up dog. You could keep the knees bent too. Here's my up dog, back to plank, and then inchworm back. Knees could be bent, halfway is nice. Bring it back, stand up. You can take it all the way out, but not add in that up dog. break. Okay, round three. We have side lunge reach up. So here's your side lunge. All of the toes are facing forward. Here's your bent knee. This is a straight leg and then you're going to reach up. So there's your side lunge. Plank ankle reach. You're going to be in a plank. You're going to reach for your ankle. So opposite hand to ankle, back to plank. Switch. Take it back. It's called ankle reach, but you can really reach for any area of the outer leg. Star steps or squat jacks. So here is your star step. And I'll show some modifications for that once we get going. But if you would rather do the squat jack, it's like a jumping jack at the top, and then you're going to squat. So you're going to have a lot of options for this one. And then we have a T push up. So also push up reach. So Somewhere in the middle would be a kneeling plank. Here's your push up, and then you're gonna open. So this is your T. You could do this with a real push up and a full side plank. I'll show some other versions once we get going. And then squat to cross punch, straight forward. Here's your squat. Here's your side punch. Squat, take it to the other side with the leg pivoting. So those are our five this round. Same thing as before, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Listen for the beeper. Side lunges are first. To make this a little easier, you might not step as much and have a smaller bend in your knee. To make this harder, you might take it all the way down to the ground and then come up. seconds until we do our plank ankle reach. So go ahead and come to the ground. Prepare for your plank setup. Remember wrists are under elbows and shoulders here so hands aren't too far forward. 
So here I am grabbing for my ankle. You could also grab outside of the knee, outside of the thigh. You could also do plank shoulder taps if you don't want to take it all the way back. Knees could be down for this too, so the kneeling lunge. So there's lots of ways to pick up a limb from your plank position. Go ahead and break. We have star steps or squat jacks. So I showed both of those. I will show some modification for the star steps. I'll do the normal version first. Here's your step, here's your star. To make it harder, tap the ground, go a little bit lower. To make it easier, you don't even have to squat. Just kind of step, bring it up. And then of course the squat jacks, you're bringing it up, bringing it down into a squat. And this can be very slow or pretty fast. So I'm going into the star steps, the middle version. Go ahead and break. Water if you need it. We're gonna take it to the T push-ups or the push-up with the reach. So right now I'm in the lunging or the knee down plank and then opening up. You could do a real push up into a full side plank. This is gonna be your hardest version here. You could be in more of a tabletop, so a little easier than the kneeling plank and then open. You could even do a modified side plank to open. So any combination of all of these would be just fine. So some kind of push up, some kind of open. Squat to cross punch to finish this set. So find your squat position. I'm a little wider here today. Here's my squat, pivot, take it across. Try and activate the core and really use the obliques as you punch. To make it harder, go a little lower in your squat, maybe pick up the pace. To make it easier, maybe just a small squat and a slow punch. back to side lunges with that reach up 45 seconds on 15 off remember toes all 10 of them facing forward we're sitting back and down almost like a squat remember this knee is the bent one the other leg completely straight and chest is up spine is straight spine is tall so no arching, no rounding of the shoulders and the upper back. ankle reach is going to be next. So again, don't have to grab for the ankle. You can grab for the outer knee, the outer thigh. You can do the shoulder taps, even with the knees down. Take it 
Take this at your own pace and make sure you're breathing here. Time's up, water if you need it. We're gonna go to the star steps or the squat jacks. Remember, there's lots of versions of that star step. I'll start with a medium middle one. Here's your squat, bring it up. You don't even have to squat if you don't want to. It could just be a step. Just get the arms moving. If you're doing the squat, you can take it low, tap the ground. Remember, the squat jacks, that's gonna be your hardest version. So if you really wanna get the heart rate up and move quick, here is what you're gonna wanna do. push-ups next with that open so any version you want here just make sure it's some kind of push-up some kind of open If you're doing a full push-up, you might open into a full side plank. That would be your T here. Doesn't have to be fast, slow and controlled. All right, one more thing. Squat and cross punch. This is the last thing we have and then we're done. So 45 seconds left of the workout. Remember, this is your pace, but it's the last thing. We're in the home stretch. Just keep moving. Almost there. All right, we made it. 30 minutes, hit workout. If you have questions, let us know. Call us up at the rec. Have a nice day.